Hey, hello, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. Uh, it's been a while. This reflects once again on this video tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how to create this artistic background and also how to import in your PNG files and make it look realistic on a seamless background. So here's the before of our picture. Here's what our picture look like before the manipulation, before the editing. And here is the after result of everything we did. So I'm going to be showing you step by step on how to do that. And I'll be dropping 70% of the files I make use of for you guys to download for free of charge. The address of the files are available on my store for sale. Uh, if you're unable to have access to my store, just contact me via WhatsApp. I'll drop my link in the description below for you guys to contact me there. So let's jump into the action. Firstly, let me just turn this, let me lock this layer. This is the layer we worked on. So let me turn it off. Let me turn it off. So here's what our picture look like. So this time around, I'm not going to be showing you how to remove background because I actually use something like this on my other manipulation videos. So you can actually go there on how to remove the picture for the background perfectly, how to extend the background to the edge, how to extend this background to the edges, and also how to clean remove blemishes from the background. So I've just jumped straight into how to in bringing in everything I want to be manipulating right now. So I've already created a folder for that right here. As you can see, I've extended my background over here. I've extended it. I've cleaned up the blemishes and I've also uh, added some colors to the background. So here's the before and after of that particular result. So what we need to do now is to start importing all our files. So we are going to be making use of 8 different files. If I'm not mistaken, yeah, 8 different files. So each file has its own function, everything it does there. So let's jump into that. Firstly, I'm going to be importing this one into my Photoshop. So I'll just drag it into my Photoshop. So I'll just pick it, then I'll drag it into Photoshop. As you can see. But as you can see, it's not reflecting on the location I want it to be. The reason is that it's displaying below all the layers I just created right now. So I'm just going to drag it to the up, uppermost layer this one but while i'm dragging i make sure my model layer is above all other layers for now the model the model i just cropped out which is this layer it has to be above all layer now so let's go back to the picture we just brought in so ctrl t to free transform ctrl t then we are going to expand the background until it reach the edges so that it will look perfect so once we're done with that, we change the blend mode from normal to soft light, the way we usually do. Normal, we change it to soft light, as you can see. So we are going to reduce the opacity on this. Let's reduce the opacity a little bit. Okay, I think this is okay. So this time around, let's darken the image a little bit by importing another background that is going to actually do that for us. So I'll still go back to my file manager again. Go back to my file manager. Then I'll pick the other background, which is this one. So I'm just going to, I'm going to drag it into my Photoshop also. So they are dragging it to Photoshop, wait for it to load, then I will still expand on the edges here, over here, so until it fills every area I want it to fill, then I will leave it. So I will still change this on blend also to soft light, from normal I will change to soft light. As you can see, look at what, look at the before and after. It adds the artistic background for us and also it darkens the image somehow. But the saturation on the background on the picture is too much for now, so let's reduce the saturation. Firstly, let's rasterize the layer of the image you bring in. So you can just right click over the layer here and click on rasterize layer. So this time around now, you are going to click on Ctrl U. So reduce the saturation, as you can see. Then click OK. Go back to your opacity again. Let's reduce the opacity a little bit also. So we've done importing two backgrounds to our Photoshop right now. So now let's import our third, fourth, and fifth background and see how it plays all together. So this time around, I'll import in the third background, which is the frame. So I'll go back to my file manager. This is what I'll be using. Uh, it's about me to be using as a normal picture frame. I want to be using it as also a background also. So it also serves nice as a background. So let me just drag it into Photoshop. So let's just pick the background. Let's drag it into Photoshop. Okay. So this is the way the background came in. So let's just Let's transform it, let's turn it to a portrait. So hold on your shift key while you want to rotate so that it can rotate at 15 degrees for you. As you can see, 90 degree perfectly rotation. So let me just increase it a little bit. Then I'll drag it to the location I want it to be. I think it's perfect here. 
So this time around, I'll still change the blend mode also to soft light the way we did to the rest. As you can see, we've done something nice with this. So the next thing for me to do now, but for, for me to do now is just for me to import my other frames also, which are the tiny frames. So I'll go back to my file manager again. I'll pick this up, then I'll drag it into Photoshop also. Everything we are doing right now, we are just changing everything to soft light. We are using soft light for almost everything we are doing right now. So let me just drag it there. Let me reduce the size. Okay. So let me change to soft light also. Soft light. So let's bring the last background also. Let's bring it in. The last frame I mean to see. So let's drag it into Photoshop again. Sorry. Let's drag it back. So this time around, I'll still order my shift key to rotate a little bit, to rotate to 90 degree. Then I'm going to reduce the size also. This time around, I only want parts of this frame to be showing. I don't want everything to show totally. So I'm just going to bring it over to the edge here. So then I'll click on my OK key. I'll change the blend. I can leave the I can leave it like this, but I'll just change it to soft light so that the color is going to blend in with all the colors we have over here. So I'll change the blend mode from normal also. From normal, change it to soft light back again can see so we're almost done with our manipulation the next thing for me to do is to bring in my flower vase which I have uh, this is not necessary because it's not that reflecting on the picture so let's just bring it in a little let us bring it in just to spice up the work a little bit so let me just import my flower vase with the flower over here so I'll reduce the size once I see something nice something that will look realistic so let me take it let me put it around here so let me put it around there okay i can still leave the flower like this but i can also decide to change it to soft light also soft light uh but i think the soft light is not okay so i'll just leave it this way but i'll just reduce the opacity a little bit let me just reduce the opacity as you can see so it's blended it perfectly so here is the final step is for we to just import the last files which are our pngs which is the piano and also the chair so let me import the chair from my file manager here so this is the chair we'll be making use of so one issue while reporting stuff like this you know once we import them into our photoshop and try to place them here they don't come automatically with their shadow so we are going to be creating shadows for them that will make it look realistic as if the, the chair was already there so we are going to be creating a little bit of shadow for this so I've already imported this one. So let's go. Let's go for our piano. Let's bring our piano, our piano in. So I'm going to left click, drag it, Photoshop. So I'll reduce the size also. Drag it to the edge over here. Uh, this time around, I don't want it to be at the back. I don't want to be at the back. I want to be at the front of my model. I want this one to be at the front. This one at the back. So once I click on my OK, I'll just drag it above my model. As you can see it's covering part of our legs so this is exactly what i want so i can just decide to reduce the opacity of this to a little bit let's just reduce the opacity a little bit so that it's going to blend in with the background a little bit so that the background will be reflecting uh on it a little bit so now let's do the same thing to the chair also so let's reduce the opacity reduce the opacity okay so i think we've done something nice so far so I may mention about creating a shadow for it. So now let me just create a shadow. How am I going to create a shadow? I'll go to the lower. I'll go to, so I will now create a new MTV over here. Then I'll go to my normal brush to pick my brush. Opacity, let me put it at 20. 27 is okay. So I'll drag, make sure my brush color is on black. So I'll just drag over here a little. Drag over here a little. Drag over here a little. Over here a little. So we've created a shadow, but the shadow is not that realistic. So we just go to our blur, under blur, we we'll go to Gaussian blur, blur, then Gaussian blur. So we've already blurred it out. So this time around, we just have to reduce the opacity a little bit. So we're done with importing everything. The final step is just for which to just bring in our color grading file. So I'm going to be using just the root file for this particular picture to color grade everything all together. So I'll just go to my adjustment video over here then click on color lookup then load 3D loads. So I'll be using my natural color as my loads natural color. 
so uh, this is natural color it blends everything perfectly but the saturation is too much so i'll just reduce it i'll reduce the opacity see we're done with our color grade then with just a single click by applying our lot file which is the natural color which we made use of so you can decide to leave your picture like this we've done something perfect so far but you can just spice it up a little bit by by adding a little bit of vintage to the edges of the picture so to do that you just create a new empty layer come here create a new empty layer then you go to your gradients over here make sure it's from black to nothing which is this one over here so black to nothing you click on your ok so you zoom in select the area you want it to be as you can see this is too much Ctrl Z I'll go back I'll zoom out a little bit again as you can see go to the left hand side do the same thing there go to the down do the same thing there Ctrl Z if you make any mistake Ctrl Z again let's do it again one more time okay let's do it on this side also as you can see we have added a little bit of vintage but if you want the vintage to be the same color with this uh, color grading we just did it's very very easy just drag it be below the color grading layer which is our color look just drag it below it as you can see it's going to it's going to rhyme with the color with the color grading lot you just make use of so that's all for today's tutorial guys thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification icon if you have any question you can contact me and i'll get back to you as soon as possible uh if you're interested in getting of my pack my retouching pack my color grading pack my overlays and so on and so forth kindly contact me and i'll get back to you as soon as possible see you guys on my next tutorial